guys, it's Asia. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reacting to episode one of The Bear, which is on Fox. I have actually never seen this before. Um, I seen like, like I always just scroll past it on TikTok and stuff and they have clips on it. But you know, it's got Jeremy Allen White in it from Shameless. So that's who we're watching it for. If you didn't know, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, by the title, we're watching it for him. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it started. And he's a chef on here, so, yeah. You know, love a man in the kitchen. Love I have no clue what this is about either. But... There's a meaning behind the bear and him. Is he supposed to be the bear? Is he taming the beast inside of him? He's still acting so I can still watch him. 25 pounds? 25? No, no, no. I ordered 200. Maybe 25. I'm still trying to figure this place out. When was the last time you emptied these? So I guess this is gonna be him keeping up with the restaurant. His life of a business owner or something. I guess that's what this is gonna be about. 300! 300 plus what? Plus 1955 blanket line type 3. <laughs> Yeah, I need that uh, jacket that Mike gave me. Hi. Hello. Hi. I I'm Sydney. Zach, that's some serious heat. Okay, so what are you doing here? This was my dad's favorite spot. Okay, You're gonna make I'm loving this already. He's keeping the spot open. She grew up at the spot. I'm looking at a potential relationship. You're the most excellent CDC at the most excellent restaurant in the entire United States of America. What are you doing here, I guess? Making sandwiches. Don't mess up our place. I'm not messing anything up. Please do not touch that. That's been going for 12 hours, okay? That's my pot, Jeff. Everybody knows. That's her pot. My I pot. Use another pot, please. My well, English. Tina, I know you speak English. What's the name? He like Chef Ramsay. Okay. Because all that, yes, chef, no chef. Thank you, chef. That's reminding me of Hell's Kitchen. Get tight, Zeebs. You can't have a ship captain. Your mom treats me doing sex. Oh, that's not cool. I'm not going to do that. Si, la comida familiar. Fuck off. Oh. Gracias. See what I mean? Bottom right. I guess it's not about keeping the business open for them. Family. Yo. You. Fucking with my program cousin. Hours ago. Yeah, yeah, why ain't you kill one? You're wedding today? That's Sydney. She's helping us out today. Pleasure to meet you, sweetheart. Don't say sweetheart. I'm trying to talk to you, okay? Don't be rude and start doing a million things I like a smart ass. Right I don't ever have time, time right to take He's your mom's six months. No, don't you fucking! Don't go messing with our heads. Hire a new fucking bras without talking to me first. This is your brother's house. I was running it fine without you. Why didn't you leave it to you then? That's what people need to understand. If somebody is left something, that's theirs. It's in their name. Just because you feel like you're better at it and it should have got left to you, it didn't. What's he? I said, did my dad in. I'm gonna run a thing around here. You just been getting by. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, be clear. This is my daddy house. I've been running a thing since I was 15. This shit been getting old. And I don't like the cousin. The cousin aggravating. Where's my knife? You've been here for two weeks. We've been having money problems for two weeks. I need some money, nigga. This is literally stressing me out because it's just supposed to take teamwork to keep the kitchen together. You're supposed to have teamwork in the kitchen. Like, and Sydney's the only one that's cooperating. Like, it's aggravating. don't understand what he's saying. Housekeeping means you have to clean your stations. Why are you so jealous of your cousin? Like, it's just showing the enviness of, oh, we've been here for two weeks. We've been having money problems for two weeks. Like, he's the one that's bringing in the customers, obviously. And y'all got a problem with that. I refer to everybody as chef because it's a sign of respect. This shit right here made you pompous and delusional. No, did you take my knife, chef? Did you take my pack, chef? Wrigley didn't deliver enough meat this week. Why didn't Wrigley deliver? Because we're out of money. Bread stays the same. Gravy stays the same. Sometimes you can't help 
Chef Ramsay would never stand up. Okay, but the gaming system, the arcade, and the restaurant, that's a nice concept. Especially for the kids, because sometimes kids hate sitting still in restaurants and stuff, especially after they eat, so going to play an arcade and stuff, that's nice. Not like an actual arcade like Dave and Buster's, but it's just like a little sit-down restaurant and they got a couple of arcade games for the kids. It's nice. It's a little cute. I'm gonna need you to put some gloves on too, because that band aid can end up anywhere. We got to tame the beast. Hold on a second here. We're just, we're just, hold on one second. We're just trying to get some work done here. Like, I think it's the guy from the hot dog stand. And I'm like, listen, go home already. <laughs> oh, he hit his life on the thing. How childish. It's him here. We're in a chili flakes. It's the most Polish shit ever. Cousin organizes. It's more confusing. Right there. Label chili flakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uncle Jimmy wants to buy this place. It's not for sale. I was so excited for you to come home. Again? It's a mixer. It's not the mixer, all right? It's crumbly water. Put it on the oven floor, throw in another batch, okay? Yeah, matter, do my Just job. do it. He's trying to make y'all better, though. Right. Oh, perfect. There you go, chef. Cold, eat, it's tender. Right. It's nice, be happy. Try this beer. Oh, fuck. Mm. That dude looks like a carrot. Sucks. Dude, he's not a nice guy. It's just he's sad inside. Plantains and a little fennel salad. I'm grateful for all your muffins. Uh, fucking yeah, soft it. Yeah. I guess grateful that Richie didn't come in here wearing that cologne today that he always be wearing. Yeah. You know, it smelled like a pine tree. Oh, look at them, a little family. It's so cute. Cousin, cousin, yo, it's getting crazy out there. Come give me a hand. Bravo, this is on you. Today was not the day to go fucking with the system. System, system, cousin. Hey, I don't care. Just give him a chance. So get your ass back in there, and you make that fucking spaghetti. Sydney, sorry about the gun, babe. I had to get real. At least he's respectful to the new girl. <laughs> oh, what you doing, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. You see that difference? Big time. Steam tray. Yep. You're right. All right, chef. Y'all gonna be best friends. I let the boss man think he knows best. So that the beast came out then and he just threw that spaghetti. Forget that spaghetti. And you know the sub is better. Like, you know the sub is better. But OMG, okay, I really like this. Let me read it. It says, Carmen, a young chef from the fine dining world, comes home in Chicago to run his family parent shop after a heartbreaking death. As Carmen fights to transform the wretch, the restaurant and himself, his rough around the edges kitchen crew ultimately reveal themselves as his chosen family. See, he probably like he probably felt like a little setback with him being a fine and being in a fine dining world and then coming back to that restaurant, that little sandwich shop. But he found his soul tribe. You know what I'm saying? Like he found his people. And he he's gonna make it the bet he's gonna make the restaurant better and I just I just can't wait because this is definitely about to be my new favorite show that I'm about to binge and it's two seasons. It's on Fox as well. If y'all want me to continue reacting to this show, I will. I probably will not do it simultaneously, but I will like probably react to like maybe the last episode of Barry or something, like the last episode of season one. The next time but yes uh, i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video um i really enjoyed it because i love jeremy allen white like i love him and i love the black woman too Ayo, is that how you pronounce it Ayo, edadu i really hope that i'm saying that right but oh my gosh she has such a beautiful smile <laughs> yes I love her too. And you know what? I really need them to get together in the show. I'm really hoping that that happens. Um, you know, just besides him, like, getting his Soul Tribe family and everything like that, I need him to also find a wife. And I think he found it in Sydney. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, 
why she won a Golden Globe Award for it as well. I definitely have to watch this. Okay, so y'all, please, I really hope y'all really want me to react to another episode of this. Please. Please, put, put cherries on that. Because I will. Um, let's get this video to 7 likes, please. And I need you guys to comment and let's engage, you guys. Let's not just watch it. Comment. Talk to me, people. Talk to me, okay? Um, also, make sure to subscribe as well to me. And I will see y'all in the next video.